everybody and welcome back to my channel! Today is day one of Vida. For those of you don't, who don't know, for the next 12 days I will be uploading daily videos. It's supposed to be vlog every day April, but I didn't want to overextend myself and do it for the entire month of April. So I have chosen to upload a video for the first 12 days of April. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. I hope that you enjoy my content and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you find my videos at all educational and or entertaining. Today's video was going to be a get to know me tag video. I realized that I haven't actually introduced myself to you guys. I just started vlogging from day one and that's just been how it's been. Those of you who have followed me for a while know a bit more than others. But for those of you who don't know me at all, who are here for the very first time, I'm Andy, I'm 26 years old. I was born on the 15th of February, 1993 in KZN. I grew up in Underberg and right now I am living in Johannesburg and working as a flight attendant. Okay, but let's get into the questions. I've got them on my phone and I'm just gonna read them out and answer as I go along. What is your perfect breakfast? My perfect breakfast would have to be something a little strange. It's I really love French toast with slices of fresh banana and um, bacon and then lots and lots of syrup on top. Like, it's got to be that way. Otherwise, yeah, nothing else is as good as that. Who's your best friend? My best friend is Megan. You guys probably saw her in a previous vlog. If you haven't, I will link it up above. Um, we've known each other since about grade three. So she's also one of my oldest friends, but yeah. Do you have any siblings? I definitely do. <laughs> my dad is a typical Zulu man, so him and my mom are married, and between the two of them, they have six children. I am the youngest, and I have one brother and four older sisters. And then my father also has gifted us with three half-sisters, and I think, I think four or five half-brothers, I'm not sure, can't keep up. Are you named after anyone? I don't think so. My Zulu name is Nogupiwe, which means to be gifted. And that's just something my parents chose to call me. My English name, I don't think there's any importance in it other than they expected me to be a boy. So they had the name Andrew picked out. And then obviously I popped out and my sister was like, you know what, it's fine. Just cut the name in half. Still works. And it is. Cats or dogs? Dogs, definitely. Are you in college or have you ever been to college? Yes, right after high school I studied fashion design and I actually wanted to open up my own bridal boutique. What is your favorite drink? Sparkling water. <laughs> what is your spirit animal and why? It's gotta be a panda. I know that's weird, but I'm obsessed with pandas. I don't know, I just find, like I always just watch videos of them and I just find them so funny and they're such klutzes, just like me. <laughs> um, I feel like a panda sometimes because I'm just such a klutz and I just trip and fall and I knock my head into things and yeah, the whole shebang. But yeah, I really, I, I feel like there's a connection there. So pandas are my spirit animals. Favorite perfume right now, for like the last couple years actually, I've been wearing Rogue by Rihanna and it just smells delicious. Uh, tea or coffee? Coffee, definitely. Sometimes I will drink green tea. I'm not a fan of black tea at all, but I will drink green tea, um, maybe if I'm sick and stuff, but coffee, definitely. Any tattoos or piercings? I do not have any tattoos. I I'm a little bit scared of needles, so it's taken me a while to suss up the courage to even want a tattoo, but I do want one, but it'll probably happen later on this year. Piercings, I used to have a tongue ring in college, and I had, um, what is this piercing called again? Um, this one, with, when it's on the cartilage, I had that as well, but then um, the lady did it wrong so it kind of like pushed itself out but I was thinking of getting it done again but you never know because airlines are a little strict when it comes to earrings oh and then I've obviously got just one hole each side who are your favorite youtubers oh I have a lot of favorite youtubers most of my 
most of the YouTubers that I'll, I watch are flight attendant YouTubers. Um, the very first one I ever watched, and she's the reason I actually wanted to start a channel, was Fly With Stella. I also like Wonderfully Ali, Traveling With T, Molives, On Wings, Jenny Ernst. She's not a flight attendant anymore, but I really enjoy her flight attendant vlogs. Traveling Black Marie, uh, The Chocolate Stew, and then others, obviously, like Yul's channel, Tandi Gama, all of those as well. I really enjoy them. Some South African talent. I had to plug it in there. Uh, favorite dessert? Don't even get me started. You guys, I can talk about food all day. I really enjoy cheesecake. Like, I, I, not, I, I don't have the biggest sweet tooth, but cheesecake, I love it. Like, carrot cake, cheesecake. Um, my favorite, which I, I think I saw it on Pinterest and then I just randomly invented it. I decided to just throw a bunch of stuff together, is this Nutella fridge cheesecake with, it's like an Oreo base and then the cream cheese, you mix it with like Nutella and then you put like chocolate on top and stuff. It's amazing. I will definitely have to do a video of showing you guys that recipe one day. Um, how would you describe your fashion sense? Um, like I said, I studied fashion design and majority of fashion designers aren't actually the trendiest people out there because we don't really believe in following trends. So I don't have a specific type of fashion that I wear. I just know that my style is pretty practical. You'll usually find me in jeans and a t-shirt. If not that, if it's hot, I'll wear like shorts and a t-shirt or a dress. Um, but usually you'll find me in like the simplest, most comfortable, type of clothing obviously for a special event I'll put on some heels I'll put on some makeup but in general my style is very practical I think pizza or burger oh pizza definitely I like burgers but there's no competing against pizza and it's got to be like a simple pepperoni pizza it's got to be like just the tomato sauce base and then lots and lots of cheese and then salami or pepperoni on top then I'm a happy chappy right there. I, then I don't need anything else. I'm not really a fan of like Hawaiian pizza or like barbecue chicken or anything like that. I just like it really simple, but pizza all day. Do you have any bad habits? Oh, I... Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. I am deathly afraid of snakes you guys it is insane and it's weird because i really enjoy watching those like nature shows about snakes and like what is that show that's based in durban with that british guy and his girlfriend uh gosh snakes in the city love that show but i only watch those shows because they are educating me not because i like snakes and at least i know that they'll teach me like if i walk into a room and there's a python then oh it's only a constrictor it doesn't have any venom so it's fine i should be cautious and try to get help but if i walk into the room and there's a black mamba then i should probably run for my life so you know that's that's usually why i want to know about snakes but the, i am so scared of them and it's not even just snakes it's anything that shape like you can put an iguana on my head i won't care you can put a tarantula on my head i won't care but Put me anywhere near an earthworm, a caterpillar, a centipede, or a snake. I'm not about that life. I'm sorry, I'll be gone. What was your dream job as a kid? Oh, this sounds weird. I wanted to be a plastic surgeon. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, um, you remember like E Entertainment Channel used to play a lot of Nano 210? in between the Kardashians. <laughs> so I used to watch that and I would be like, oh my gosh, they make so much money. It's so cool. I want to be a plastic surgeon because like blood and stuff doesn't really gross me out. Um, and then I did some research and I realized you have to be in school for like eight years. And I was like, no. How many countries have you traveled to? Oh man, I don't know. I've been to quite a few, hey? I've, I've been to America, the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, Italy, um, Malta, which I guess is part of Italy, Austria, I think, Gabon, Chad, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Mozambique, uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. I think yeah, I think it's about 12. I don't I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, what are your pet peeves? My biggest pet peeve right now is having to repeat myself because I do it all day at work. You know, you like tell passengers all day, every day, the exact same thing over and over again. So then by the time I come home or if I'm with my friends or with my boyfriend, then the last thing I want to do is repeat myself. So that to me is a pet peeve. I'm trying to think of pet peeves that have nothing to do with aviation. People who drive really badly, I get I get uh, road rage a bit with that. I have such bad pet peeves with people who want to like drive super slowly and then I overtake them and then they decide to speed up. Like I hate that. Um, do you have any special talents? I don't think so. I don't think so. I can draw. Oh, I can I can move my ears up and down. I don't think it's really a special talent though. But it's not doesn't look like it's moving that much but I swear it's moving yeah that's my special talent <laughs> that's everything from me thank you guys so much for staying tuned and watching this entire video it really means a lot to me that you stayed through the whole video and actually wanted to get to know me so stay tuned for tomorrow's video but for now I'm gonna say goodbye thank you once again for watching my video if you enjoyed it, please give it a massive thumbs up. Please don't forget to spread good vibes and be kind. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.